Let's write the name for FeI3. So the first thing we'll do, we note that iron, that's a metal, and then iodine's a nonmetal. Metal and nonmetal, we're going to have this ionic compound here. In iron, it's a transition metal. So we're going to need to use Roman numerals and parentheses between the names to show that. So for Fe, we have iron. Let's just write iron. And then I, that's iodine, lowercase i. And we get rid of the ending, the I-N-E, since this is an ionic compound, and we write I-D-E. So far, we have iron iodide is the name for FeI3. But remember, iron, that's a transition metal. We don't know the charge on iron since it's a transition metal, but iodine, that's always one minus. So if we have three of them, this will have to be three plus to balance out that charge there. So with the three here, we're going to write in Roman numeral three between iron and iodide. We put parentheses around it. And the name for FeI3 is iron three iodide. If you are given the name iron three iodide and asked to write the formula, you know the iron is going to be 3 plus because of this Roman numeral here. And since iodine is always 1 minus, you'll need three of them to balance that out. That gives you FeI3. This is Dr. B with the name for FeI3, iron 3 iodide. Thanks for watching.